I'd like to now introduce the um, Carl N. Becker Award. The Natural Areas Association presents the Carl N. Becker Stewardship Award to individuals or groups in recognition of excellence and achievement in managing the natural resources of reserves, parks, wilderness, and other protected areas. It's given in honor of Carl N. Becker, former NAA president and conservation leader with the Illinois Endangered Species Protection Board, Illinois Department of Natural Resources, and the Illinois chapter of the Nature Conservancy. Carl brought leadership skills to all phases of, con of his conservation career. He was an excellent field biologist, bureaucrat, and political thinker. He knew how to inspire his staff to work together to do more than they could possibly do on their own efforts. His skills benefited natural areas conservation locally, regionally, and nationally. Carl championed Illinois legislation dedicating a portion of the state real estate transfer tax to the Natural Areas Acquisition Fund that supports nat natural areas acquisition and stewardship in the operations of Illinois nature preserves, natural heritage, and endangered species programs, and for the Wildlife Preservation Fund income tax checkoff that conserves non-game wildlife and habitat. Carl was also a state and regional leader working with the teaming for wildlife, teaming with Wildlife Coalition to urge congressional approval in 2000 for the establishment of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's State and Tribal Wildlife Grant Program, otherwise known as SWIG. During the first 13 years of the SWIG program, it has dedicated over $760 million to fish and wildlife conservation programs and projects across the nation. The recipient of the 2018 Carl N. Becker Stewardship Award is Joyce Bender. For over three decades, Joyce Bender directed stewardship for the Kentucky State Nature Preserves Commission. And under Joyce's leadership, the State Nature Preserve System in Kentucky grew from 18 to 63 preserves, today covering 28,000 acres. Some of Joyce's many achievements worthy of recognition are as follows. She developed the stewardship program for Kentucky State Natural Areas and managed it for 31 years. <clears throat> Joyce was a strong defender of nature preserves and an advocate for supporting legislation preventing horse and ORV trails on the preserves during a period of political assault on the preserve system. She played a key role in founding the Kentucky Prescribed Fire Council to promote and support the use of prescribed fire in Kentucky. And she was the first woman to lead a prescribed burn in the state of Kentucky. Woohoo! <laughs> She's mentored both men and women who would go on to be leaders in fire management in other states. Starting in 1991, Joyce became a leader in building invasive plant awareness for Kentucky. She used the state's nature preserve system as demonstration sites for best practices and conducted invasive species outreach to innumerable audiences and interest groups. She was founding member of the Kentucky Exotic Pest Plant Council, serving as president for 11 years, and is currently vice president. She was also a founding member of the and the first vice president of the Southeast Exotic Pest Plant Council, as well as a member of the National Exotic Pest Plant Council. Joyce recognized the value of and put extraordinary efforts towards outreach on natural areas management techniques. She developed programs for Kentucky Educational TV about nature preserves and their value to the general public. She has been acknowledged by the Sierra Club for fostering and sustaining a 25-year relationship with their volunteers and by the Kentucky chapter of the Nature Conservancy for her contributions towards developing the TNC State Stewardship Program. Joyce received Naturalist of the Year honors from the Kentucky Society of Natural History and a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Kentucky Environmental Quality Con Commission. Joyce has been a member of the Natural Areas Association for 30 years and served on the Stewardship Committee for many years during the 1990s. One of her supporters for this award wrote, no one has taken the care and stewardship of the nature preserves of Kentucky more to heart than Joyce Bender. Another wrote, I had the privilege of working for Joyce when I was a young woman, not long out of college. Having such a strong female role model like Joyce at such an early age stage in my career 
helped me build a foundation of no-nonsense professionalism and gender-neutral expectations. Joyce helped mentor me and countless others in, into our current professions. There are many who can attribute their success to Joyce's guidance, environmental education, and land management practices. It is my pleasure to present the 2018 Carl N. Becker Award to Joyce Spender. Thank you all so very much. I want to thank the Natural Areas Association for this beautiful award and for thinking of me in this way. I'm, I'm humbled before you all just to, just to think that I'm you know, getting this award. I've sat in that audience and um, watched people get it and think, wow, those people really have done a lot of things. Um, and listening to that list, I, I've done a few things, I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, this time, uh, since I learned about receiving the award, I, um, has given me time to reflect. And uh, many friends are in this audience, uh, many people who guided my career, who were there for me. And um, I have to say that um, at, at one thing I do want to make sure I say is that um, I want to thank Bob McCants. And for those of you who know Bob, he was a stalwart of this organization for many years. And he gave me my start in 1980, and I'm very grateful for him taking that chance on me back then to, uh, to say, yes, we want this woman to work for us at the Ohio Division of Natural Areas and Preserves. It, it gave me that start. And another person I must thank tonight is Mark Heitlinger, who worked for the Nature Conservancy, and again, took a chance on a young woman and sent her off to learn about uh, how to lead uh, prescribed fires and um, thanks to Mark that just lit that spark in me that is still burning bright and uh, <laughs> those two men you know took a chance on a young woman and um, and you know it's one of those things where you know you, you grab those opportunities and you take them and what a ride it's been um, I also want to thank all my former staff and colleagues at the Nature Preserves Commission and our volunteers who really made it possible you can't stand up here and take this award and say you did it all by yourself. None, none of us can say that we work alone. Thank God there's all these wonderful people that support you and, uh, and work with you. And it, and it is a very, again, humbling experience to be somebody's boss or the leader of a, a, a project and have everybody pick up their tools and follow you and get it done. It's, uh, it's really an amazing feeling, and I, I know you all who do this know what I'm talking about. Um, the Natural Areas Association was something I joined because I, I just really felt like, yeah, these are my, my people, my tribe, and uh, this is who I want to be with. And in the days before Google, I had the Randys in Illinois, and I had John Bacone and others in the region to answer my questions and help me look at things and, and get the perspective. And where there is Google now, and you can find it in a heartbeat, you don't get the passion and you don't get the support when you're you know, reading some cold text as you do when you hear these men on the other end of the phone line saying, yeah, that's good, go do that. So um, you know, natural areas shaped me, uh, informed me, guided me, and you know, with those, those folks and others in the organization and the journal, that's, you know, that's how you got along in those days. And, um, and I think it's a really good foundation, and this organization still means so much to me at this point in my life. Um, they told me I had two to five minutes, so I'm <laughs> not going to keep talking and boring you, but I want to say that there was two events in my career that I want to kind of reflect on, and one was when I was 
pretty brand new to the Nature Preserves Commission, and I was going out to do a prescribed burn, one of our first ones, and I invited the fellow who was the, uh, the forester for the district we were gonna burn in, and I was you know, brand new, freshly scrubbed, excited, as you are when you're 28 years old, hey, come on out and help us do this prescribed burn or you know, bring your staff, come watch us do this. And he said to me, I hope it rains on you, honey. And he hung up. <laughs> and I realized at that moment, there was going to be people in the natural resources field who did not believe as I believed, who weren't going to you know, go along with what I wanted to do. And uh, those of you who do know me, you know, don't tell me no. Uh, you know, it's, it's not gonna work. So, you know, we, we got around that and I realized, you know, you find the people who will work with you and, and you get things accomplished in spite of those who don't want to see you succeed. The other thing that happened to me was um, when I was 54 years old, I had a young woman working for me and we were going through the woods and we were cutting a fire break and we both had our chainsaws with us and I was talking to her about you know, her future with our agency. And she looked at me and she said, you know, I don't wanna be a woman in my 50s still lugging a chainsaw around in the woods. And I'm thinking, hello, woman in her 50s lugging a chainsaw around in the woods. And I thought to myself, you know, this may not be the job for her. And um, she did leave us on her own accord in a, in a, in a year's time. And I thought, well, you know, it, it's not for everyone. And in my retirement, I have had people say to me, aren't you retired? Why are you at the prescribed fire council meeting? Why are you still involved with the invasive plant council? It's in my bones, people. It's, it's who I am, it's who I'm gonna be until I'm a very, very, very old cranky lady. And um, I hope that I'm at least lugging a chainsaw around into my 70s. <laughs> So, um, you know, being involved in stewardship and land management is not for everyone. It's definitely not for sissies, but um, <laughs> it is something that has meant everything to me in my life. And uh, being with you all, and getting this award in your presence, uh, knowing how you feel that I deserved it, uh, means everything to me. So thank you, thank you very much.